Hey guys, I wanted to make a video to do a review. That's something I haven't done in a while. That's something I was asked to do, actually. So, there is that. Um, let me think here. Because there's a few of them I have on mind, but the one I'm going to go with is the one that I recently have per had purchased. That is Mass Effect Andromeda. A lot of people bash it, a lot of people, you know, laugh laugh at it, all that good stuff, but the truth is, it wasn't really that bad of a game. I mean, I got it for like $10, so, and I believe it's on sale for the next two, for two more days, the next two days, I believe it's at 29th, at least on the PlayStation 4, so yeah, and it's $10 for the deluxe edition, you get like a whole bunch of stuff free with it. It's really cool. I definitely recommend it. Uh, only, only because of the ten dollar price. Other than that, um, there is also to to go deeper in the story mode is okay. It's you know it's not horrible or bad, but I mean I like how they actually put in with the multiplayer online multiplayer with it. Plus, they even have an app. That, that's like, that that that's like, awesome. <laughs> it's right here. I'll here. I'll, I'll even show you right here. Unplug you. Do 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 do. Right here. Apex HQ. Yeah, pretty much with this app here. And some, just to let you know, it is free. So I mean. Blah, 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 blah. Pretty much to start it up, it's gonna ask you to link your profiles. I already have mine on my PlayStation. So yeah. So what you do is you hit select profile, and then pretty much it tells you all about what you know, what how it, everything is. You know, recent match you did here, the recent multiplayer match. Last one I had was a success. Uh, you know, my active character. Uh, made it a human, can yeah, level not it's eight. Yeah, you know, it, it's everything. It tells you all about everything. But the big thing is, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Besides that, I'm trying to get to it. Here it is. It's the next one. I wasn't looking. You get strike teams, and you can send teams out to do missions, and uh, you get currency from it, in-game currency, and it really helps. So, and you, not not just currency, but you get a bunch of other stuff too. It, it tells you when you select it, so yeah. That's why I, I really recommend it for that, because, well, it's pretty innovative, and I, I respect that. I mean, like I said, the game generically, the um, story mode, I know s some of the characters kind of I guess to put it in, if you want to say layman's terms, kind of derpy looking. I mean, everybody, well, everybody that played, not with me, but, you know, everybody in my social group who played it all said pretty much they spent forever on making their character and they still looked kind of odd. Like, okay, I get it, but, you know, that's just a little part. I mean, yeah. But other than that, like I said, the online is like the key factor there that really pulls me to it. Why I, I'd recommend it. Like I said, I can't get over the $10 price tag. Because, I mean, even wherever I see it now, it's still like 30 bucks, 25 30 bucks. And no, do not get it at that price. Sure, I mean, I say I highly recommend it, but no. I mean, if I really were to say it, I'd recommend getting it at 15 tops. That would be at the top. Because, I mean, the story mode is kind of lackluster. So, yeah, there is that. Um, like I said, the multiplayer is where it really shines. Because you get... It's a uh, pretty much PvE, like I said. You and three other people... Even if it, even if you just put you in, it just randomly puts like three people in with you. <laughs> even at some point during the match, so I mean, even if it starts off with just you and just going, you know, 
R Rambo and the whole thing. You you're still going to be it paired up. Keep in mind more people and more difficult. So there is that, which is proper. And I mean, you know, it's it's really cool with that. So anyways, like I said, overall review of it, I guess if I had to, since I would be proper to give it a rating out of 10. Actually, no, everybody does that out of 10. Everybody does that out of 5. Um, I, I don't even know. How am I going to do this differently? Um, uh, I mean, even there's a few people who I watch who even do it oddly and, and all, but, um, let's just, okay, that's how I'll do it. Cost wise, price wise. That's somewhat different. I'd like to think it is. But yes, if I if I have to scale it from, you know, basically get it for free up to like a, a recent full priced game, which is $60, I would, like I said, I would stick with my generic $15. It's just, if, if it goes any above that, be wary. Even if it was the deluxe edition. And you know what? Basically, standard edition. I wouldn't go anywhere above ten dollars for anywhere above that. I mean, I would be barely touching ten dollar price range. Whereas for the deluxe, fifteen. I mean, if you really want to make it an oddball amount, I would say eighteen at at very very most. I mean, even that's pushing it sixteen. Let's make it sixteen. All right, so like. Yeah, that that'll be proper. Eight bucks for standard and sixteen for deluxe. That's it. Straight and simple. There you go. I like to think that's fairly innovative. I mean, sure people actually try to say that, you know, price tags on games and stuff. But yeah, I'll make that my ratings. But yeah, even with when I do reviews of movies too. Hmm. But anyways, um, yeah. For my rating of the game, I'd say, uh, standard edition, like I said, $8. But if you're gonna go ahead and wanna get, like, the big edition, let me guess. Ha! Huh? Speak of the devil. Right there. There's another thing right there. It actually tells you when your team's back. I'm glad that happened. That's perfect timing, too. Because, see, and I can show you what happens. See, it tells you when it's completed. Uh, you know what? I'll just let you do this. You tap it, and then pretty much it does all that. Yay! They success! They, which means you get they get the experience, and there's the mission funds. And then also, you also get the stuff for the story mode right here. The bronze credit. I uh, know you can't probably read that for crap. But it says bronze credits and bronze material loot boxes. And it also tells me I have uh, 90 rewards available. So, yeah, pretty much those three get those two, three. Those two get sent to your character in um, the story mode, which is cool. So you can save up a bunch of money before you start doing, before you start getting really even deep into the game. So. Yeah, like I said, the key parts of that were, like I said, the online mode. I love the way they they innovated an app there. That's that that's that's awesome. They really have to do that. And um, yeah, the multiplayer, the app, and um, yeah, it's really the two big things. I mean, everything else is lackluster. Like I said, story modes. You know, you can fall in and out of it time to time. Though, yeah. Uh, what else would there be? Lackluster, I guess you want to say. The proper term would be, yeah, there would be the story mode. Kind of, is there the creation? The creation's okay. You know what? It's it's okay. Like I said, it's kind of derpy. But it's like a good kind of derpy, you know what I mean? Like it's so bad, it's good, or... You know, I I don't even know how to word it. Like you can make funny faces and stuff, and actually laugh at it. 
I guess. That's not really a big highlight, but it's there. But, yeah. Uh, but, oh, yeah, and also earning everything in, in multiplayer. That, that would be the other lackluster thing. But, you know, all you got to do is play a lot, and you, you'll, you'll get it. Play a lot, level up, all that good stuff. Like you said, you sell my character. Pretty much, I never did explain the online play, so... Uh, pretty much, it's like I said, you and three other people, you just... It, it's just random goals each wave. Like, you collect something, you know, get something, bring it back to your home base, or, or whatever it is, a little landing pad, I guess, if you want to consider it. Your, uh... You know, defeat all the enemies. Your basic, like, uh, arena battles, I guess. But, yeah. Like I said, it's real fun because it's, like I said, PvE. You don't have to deal with people screaming at you. Like in, like, Call of Duty and stuff. I, I, I'm okay with Call of Duty, but I just, you know, the people that, you know... <laughs> But anyways, I'm just going to digress from that. So, overall, I guess the question of the day, the video, will be, did you get Mass Effect Andromeda? If you did, did you like it? Did you, did you not like it? Was it worth it? You know, put your opinion of it. I'll, uh, I was keeping on comments and, uh, messages, so, feel free to share your experience with it. So anyways... Sorry if I took up a lot of your time, but I need to get something out, and uh, I just can't really just go, oh, hey, the game's like this, and leave, you know, I gotta go into some details and stuff, you know? So, anyways, hope you guys have a great day, evening, morning, night, whatever it is, As you can tell it's day for me, that's why I just went right to jet d day, so... Yeah, uh, but yeah, if you want to, feel free to subscribe. I, as I always promise, I won't blow it up or anything. And if I do, it's mostly because crazy stuff. So, yeah. Uh, like I said, message, comment. Uh, there's also, if, if you want to, there's a Patreon. There's also a PayPal for this. So if you feel like donating, like I said, it's all your choice. I'm not going to tell you, oh, you got to give me money. No. No. But, yeah, feel free if you want to. And, uh, anyways, I'll be posting.